My beautiful Libras, how are you today? I am so excited with all of the planets lined up in your fifth house of romance, Aquarius energy. These planets, we have not had a buildup of romantic planets in Aquarius like this since 1962. All right, Libra, you have a very interesting reading. In the recent past, you have decided to look at things from a different perspective. A love mate, a lover, has, you know, is coming in currently to offer you love. It looks as though you feel as though this lover may have disappointed you. You may have feel be, been betrayed by this person. This person views you as having walked away from them. Okay, that you hung out, you thought about things, and you took a walk. They also feel as though you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You want happiness and clarity and joyfulness, and you are absolutely going to get it. The Five of Coins says that your person feels as though you've left them in the cold because they had a cold heart. Shiver, shiver. Now, this is the Aquarius King. When we look at the Aquarius King, we do see someone who is capable of loving deeply, but this is a person who doesn't really emote much. When I look at this in a career reading, I see the King of Swords is oftentimes someone who is in a, prof in a profession in which their emotions cannot get in the way, but this person wields a sword. So think about what that could mean. It means that you could be your love interest, the person who's really in love with you, could be a doctor, a surgeon, because they're very compassionate healers, but there's no crying in baseball and there's no crying in the surgical suite. We look at this and we see people like military men or police officers, people who are like engineers where emotions get in the way. So what I would say is that this person, because their Aquarius energy in your fifth house is lit up with the Aquarius planets. This may be someone who's coming in. You uh, do appear to be dating multiple people. We have the five of wands. You are letting people compete for your attention. You are not in any mood to hold yourself back, Libra. I love the card of victory. Look at that spirit is saying, this is the Leo full moon for you, by the way. This is a Leo full moon coming in and giving you a kiss on the forehead, uh, a nice, ch you know, nice kind of chocolate with wine saying, Libra, go out and have fun. Let people romance you. You know, what's hidden here is the level of happiness that you've yet to experience, but that's right there. Spirit is saying that you should trust your, your instincts to have hope and to forgive those who trespassed against you. It doesn't really behoove you to hold on to that. Look at this passionate chase. This is your outcome. <laughs> you have people chasing you, fighting with each other, ready to burn the, the proverbial quote-unquote house down to be the one who wins Libra. Look at this. Everybody wants to win your heart, but you want passion. You want excitement. You want to kick up your heels, you want to enjoy yourself, and you are really not going to settle for less. Look at, we have the beautiful victory card twice. That is Leo full moon for you. As of today, this afternoon, this is being recorded two hours after the fullest point of the full moon. Now you have put everybody else on hold. Any romance that's coming in, you're saying, you know, just hang around and wait for me. If I take a little while, wait longer, I'll be there when I get there. So you're very, you are feeling empowered. You are leaving 
any kind of betrayal behind you are going to get your happiness the ten of cups piscean energy pisces energy leo energy pisces energy <laughs> gemini energy and pisces energy so you may be dealing with a pisces but you are going for your happily ever after and you are not going to stop walking away from anything that hurt you in the past until you arrive at destination love and happiness Look at this. This is the hidden energy. I love this energy for you. Libra, Libra. Look at this beautiful Ace of Swords. Here you are. You are in the reading. You are like the whole truth. You're like Judge Judy, which is a mythical, well, she's a real character on TV court in America. And she always knows the truth. Bottom line, she can tell a liar like that. Libra, here you are. You're like, I just only want the truth. If you don't want to tell me the truth, don't bother talking to me. I'm going to turn my nose up. I'm not. I'm going to turn my back on you. You can be over here. I don't care what you're doing because if you are not a good person, I am not very interested. But look at this. You are sitting face to face with the king of swords the queen of swords meets the king of swords we have the king of swords who has everything in the world planned in this relationship your person wants to have not only a happily ever after which you want your person wants a manifestation of a marriage that includes dogs which means loyalty they want somebody who is uh, out in the world you know, doing something that they have a passion for. They see themselves as wanting family. This is all about the financial capacity of abundance to live the good life. You are releasing anyone who leaves you out in the cold. Look at this, walking away yet again. You are in this energy of collaboration. You want someone who's going to come in and make a substantial offer and look at what we, I love it when the deck does this. Look at this. We have the Magician card. You may have a Virgo or Gemini coming in. Somebody who will be, I would say, almost shy. They're going to be shy, but they are clever. They are very smart, and they certainly want Libra. So let's see what we have. Now let's clarify. We have all these clarifiers out. I love it. So let's see what this Five of Wands is. What's more about? Ooh, look at this. You're going to have fun. You're going out with friends. You're going to spend time with only those people who can be joyful and happy. You are not going to take on anybody else's baggage. There's no need to. You just don't need that in your life. You are going to have fun. You're going to be with friends. You're going to party. And you know, whoever wants to chase you around can chase you around. And when they can face you eye to eye and tell you the truth and be there for you, you have it right here. You have a man manifestation two manifestations of love you have great happiness you have a victory these two cards together are typically an engagement and what we're seeing here is that this let's see more about the king of swords tell us more about this king of swords for our beautiful libra friends let's see what we have Oh, this person is not someone who likes nonsense. They do not want to put up with anything that is unhappy. This person has been through the mill and back. There was a time when I believe this person may, may have been aloof with you, may have left you feeling in the cold. Now they're playing for keeps. If this person, and this will only involve certain of you who are watching if this person put you in a third party situation or had in and out energy they have learned their lesson they they know now that they cannot engage in that activity and what we see is this person is coming back in not as a cool aloof aquarius but as the emperor and the emperor has a big chess piece and the emperor wants not only happily ever after but legacy relationship what else do we have here let's see oh let's see yes yes this is what the emperor wants with you that is a traditional marriage 
um, they feel as though, look at that, it looks like the stairway to heaven. Not to mention any music by any chance. <laughs> no seven minute renditions of stairway to music will play in the background. Let's see what we have here. Why is the eight of wands here? I love this reading for you. This is an epiphany. You have had this beautiful realization that you were holding yourself back. This was you, actually. This wasn't your lover. You know, you were holding yourself back. You weren't living in the moment. You weren't, you were not allowing yourself to have the freedom that this full Leo moon has given you. It has illuminated. It has shined a huge spotlight on your fifth house of romance. Okay, what else about this sun card? Let's see. Oh, look at it. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look at this. We have the Empress card. We have the Emperor card. Two people who've been aloof and kind of cagey with each other, you know, where there's been some pain. Look at what you are manifesting. We have the Empress and the Emperor, and the Empress is next to the Sun card. The Sun card is a baby, okay? The Ace of Coins with the Three of Cups is an engagement. So, whatever happened in this relationship, I do not feel that it was anything that was mean or intended to be unkind. I feel as though, you know, Spirit is saying, have forgiveness, that, you know, you should keep your hope alive. You should trust the situation, that you really are manifesting this beautiful, beautiful energy Libra, Libra, what is this? This is stunning. Making love all night long with a man that you really love or, you know, a woman that you really love. I'm getting this beautiful spread of cards for you. Libra, sending you light and love. Please enter the contest. Like, subscribe, share, and comment to help us grow the channel. If you do like the content, we really need your help. We're still just a baby channel, and we need to get to 100,000 subscribers. It doesn't cost anything. You will automatically be entered in the contest. So if you like this, please help me out. I'm really trying hard here to bring you top-notch content. Take care, Libra. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and leave something in the comments about where you're from and what you think of the reading. Thank you.